Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing just a very quick how-to video. So everyone asked on my last how-to video how to get your horse to back up straight on the ground. Some of you guys asked me how do you do it under saddle. So today I'm going to be going over the steps and process on how to achieve this with your horse. So before jumping straight into backing up, the first thing I like to teach my horse is to yield his hindquarters under saddle. If you don't know how to do this, I usually take one of my legs, I press it up against the horse's ribs, and usually if the horse doesn't move, I kind of use the strings on my saddle, which you can see there, or I use my reins, or I'll bump and kick a little bit. But once the horse kind of takes a step here, I'm just explaining, you know, a full circle, but usually I reward the horse after a step. So that's usually the first thing I like to teach my horses. Here you can see a little bit closer, I'm just pressing, and you can see he's getting off and he's yielding his hindquarters. So I make sure that I teach all these horses how to yield, and then I start the, the backup process. I also want to give an example because I know a lot of people when they're teaching their horses how to do this, the horse will tend to walk forward. So here I'm giving you a quick example. So he walked forward a pinch and I just ask him to lightly back up and get back into position. So obviously when you're first teaching your horse to do this, you want to do baby steps. So here you can see I ask Blue with my leg very gently and when he takes a step, I reward him for that. So you can kind of move on from there and then eventually do two circles. But I just wanted to go over how to do this first before we got into the backing. So here is where the hindquarters kind of plays into the backing. So here you can see Blue's kind of, as I'm backing up, um, he wants to kind of move his butt to the right and I use my right leg to swing his butt to the left. So here I'm gonna back him up again. And usually if the horse starts to go crooked, I just use my legs and a little bit of my reins to just put the horse back into position. So here it is from a side angle. I'm using that right foot to push his butt over to the left. Here we're gonna try again. So there I pressed and there you could see he moved and I immediately reward him. So I think a lot of people might be saying, well, your horse is still crooked. I'm rewarding him for fixing himself and getting straight and eventually the horse will start to straighten out and they'll realize just like on the ground, oh, I don't get rewarded for being crooked. I get rewarded for being straight and straightening myself out. A little exercise I like to do is backing up and doing zigzags and really getting a lot of control of my horse's feet and even backing my horse up in circles like voluntarily because I know a lot of people are like, well, every time I back my horse up, he just goes in a big circle. So as you get a little bit better with this exercise, you can kind of use it to your advantage and do a lot of um, circles and zigzags and different kind of patterns while backing your horse up, which can make the exercises more fun for you and your horse. Just like with all things, this exercise is going to take a lot of time. This is something that I had to really work with with Blue. And also, I don't look for a very fast backup, and I always want to make sure my horse is always light as possible. So make sure you guys are flexing your horses between exercises, and make sure not to do this exercise for too long as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, or any video ideas, please write them down in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Oh